dedicated credit repair. We are a licensed bonded credit repair company. We remove late payments, judgments, foreclosures, bankruptcies, and we also settle collection debt. There are two types of inquiries, hard inquiries and soft inquiries. Okay. Soft inquiries are the only types of inquiries that do not bring a score down. And this is a huge misconception out there. People are told that if they look for a home and they shop within the same week and they pull credit three to five times or whatever the, they're told, it should only count once. And FICO did make an adjustment to that years ago that that was supposed to be the case, but it's not. Let me tell you why. If you go to the same exact credit source, um, some of you pull through Credco, some of you use Acronet, just using, right? If your consumer coincidentally went to Acronet each time, it would be one. But when your clients get upset with you because you just gave them a 580, they think you personally graded their credit when you hand them their credit, and they don't like what you say, and then they go to Wells Fargo or somewhere else, and they pull through a different source, that is going to pop up on their credit and it's going to deduct points. And if it didn't, it wouldn't show up on the credit report. Okay, so that's three to five points on average. So the, the way to avoid that is a consumer can go and pull their own credit as often as they want through any consumer website and never, never, never have a point decrease. Now the problem with that, as you all know, is if they pull through a consumer site, what does their FICO score look like? Way higher than it really is. So it's a huge reality check for them when they get the information that it's not correct. Now that happens because those companies, uh, I'll give you an example, truecredit.com is owned by TransUnion. TransUnion is not FICO. TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax are nothing more than reporting agencies. They're only supposed to report information, not grade you. But since people pay to get a copy of their credit and they pay for their score, TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax got in the business of creating a grade. But FICO is copywritten. So they don't have access to FICO scores. They have access to their own scoring model, which we consider to be a copycat version of FICO. And that's why it's a consumer-friendly report. When you pull credit through those sites, you're going to see that they can only call it a credit report. They can call it, um, they can call it a lot of different fancy words, a vantage score. We've seen them report it that way. But they can't call it FICO because it's not. So what would be the purpose of going to those sites? Trending to see all of the content is correct, to see that when they're in my program, we get deletions, their score's going up, then it's going up. We just don't rely on that score for accuracy. But that's the only type of place you can pull credit without seeing a point decrease, with the exception of what we call a soft inquiry that's performed by a current lender. So if you have a mortgage with Wells Fargo, or maybe a student visa with, um, I keep saying Wells Fargo, there's no particular reason for that, so um, sorry, don't be mad. Whatever the lender is that you carry a line of credit with, whenever they do soft pulls, it, they, they, that's okay. They'll pull softly. And what they're looking for is, do you have a short sale? Are you late on other items? If you are, then I'm going to decrease your amount or close you. That's what those soft inquiries are for.